looks ridiculous. Let me just throw this in here. It's just ridiculous, so. I think that's an adult, too. I, mean, I know, usually kids, usually kids get it. Man, man, you too, family. Can't catch a break. Marathon training week four. Building the aerobic engine. Today was gonna be the day. I had to text my brother at 4 a.m., Joseph, and tell him that I was not gonna meet him at the base of Quandry Peak to go run a 14er on this fine morning. Oh, I got hit, everyone. I got hit. I'm off to the doctor, get the medicine, yada, yada. Oh, man. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe it. I can't. It's swollen. Swollen. Right here. Real swollen. Okay. I, uh, just checking on my prescription, Seth Demore. Demore, D-E-M-O-O-R. Um, all right. Thank you. Okay, thanks. Well, they did not have my prescription ready. That's okay. That's okay. I'll be patient. I'll be patient. Oh, I just heard the car. True Love's home. This is good news. Gives a hot oatmeal. True Love's trying to take care of me through this sickness. She uh, she zipped back out. <laughs> How's it going, Maggie? Yeah, I love you. I got a strep throat. Oh, but that's like, that's really it's ridiculous. Let me just throw this in here. It's just ridiculous. So. I think that's an adult too. I mean. I know. Usually kids usually kids get it. Yeah. It's, well, Joe's, Joseph's got something. Going with the Guinness bug today. Can't find my, can't find my other bug. So we're going Guinness. Going Guinness. Oh, hot tea. Thank you, thank you so much. Full, full disclosure, everyone. So I have strep throat. I just took the medicine. So in 24 hours, I should not be contagious. So that's good. But full disclosure, Joseph has a throat issue as well. And I've been known to finish uh, my kids' yogurt sometimes. So I think, yes, here's a, a not quite finished yogurt. And I, you know, it's just like you don't want to see it go to waste. And so, sh you know, you know lear lesson learned, no sharing spoons when uh, kids are sick around the house. So anyway, hey, this, is, this is life. This happens. This happens. But at least got a hot tea, hot oatmeal. We're going to get through this. We're going to get through this. All right. Here we go. I must say, I'm beyond impressed with the ears that are listening to this vlog and have noticed that the audio is just a little bit off. I can barely notice the echo in here because these are not up on the wall yet, but I'm just blown away. Like Maybe two or three people have commented in the last two weeks saying, Seth, I noticed the audio is just a little different right now, so I'm hoping putting these up back up helps with this uh, Gorilla Spray-On Adhesive. Okay, and yes, shout out to Lina. Thank you, Lina. I hope I'm saying your name right for sending the card and the pair of shoes for the next running shoe giveaway. Thank you, as the card says, E-W-E. -E. Love it, love it. All right, here we go. Let's put these up here. All right, everyone, I think we're looking pretty good in the studio. Hopefully it sounds okay. And um, it does sound just a little bit better to my ear, but it might be because I'm wearing a hat. All right, let's dive into the fourth week of marathon training starts today. What is the range of mileage that I'm shooting for? 
60 to 70 miles for the week, all right? And there it is on your screen in kilometers. Now, the goal for today before this uh, issue popped up in my throat was to go back to this mountain. That's right, beautiful Quandary Peak, a 14,000-foot mountain here in Colorado. I was going to meet my brother there at the trailhead. We're going to reschedule for another day, but the goal was to really start to build that aerobic base. That Remember what I'm talking about, the, the pyramid, all right? That aerobic base at the bottom of the pyramid. What happens when you go to high altitudes, especially above 8,000 feet above sea level? You start to recruit more red blood cells, and red blood cells help deliver oxygen to our muscles when we are exercising hard. So, um, but we have to delay, obviously you have to delay the run today. It's actually, it's probably for the better because it's, it's turning into a snowstorm outside right now. We will hope, maybe next week, we shall see. But, um, all right, so here is the schedule, and just so you know, my schedule of running is flexible. Why? Because things pop up, like getting sick, or, uh, you know, something with the family scheduling, or so I do post all of my uh, training schedule down in the description. You got to click on a little arrow somewhere just below this video, and then it opens up the description, and then scroll to the bottom of that description, and then I lay out day by day uh, the volume that I'm shooting for and the pace that I'm shooting for. But huge caveat is that I keep all of that uh, training very flexible depending on, once again, how I'm feeling on that particular day. But here you go. Here is the training for this week, Monday through Sunday. All right, that's how I set up my training week, Monday through Sunday, with a, with a range of 60 to 70 miles for the fourth week of marathon training. All right, so there you go. And yes, what do you notice? All right, what do you notice there? A lot of, huh? A lot of easy, and steezy, all right? A lot of easy and steezy. We're still in those base build, we're still in the base building stage. And in case you missed the vlog from last week where I laid out my pacing chart for easy days, steezy days, steady days, we're not even, um, we're, out. we're not really gonna hit a, a steady day this week. We might if I feel really good toward the end of the week, but I, I'm gonna keep it right in that 715 to 745 range, and steady for me starts right at seven minutes a mile. And once again, there is all that on your screen in kilometers. And then 10 to 14 days from now, so entering week five of the marathon training block, I will begin to introduce tempo runs. I cannot wait. So that'll be um, middle to the end of next week. All right. Does that make sense? So again, my goal right now is simply to increase my aerobic capacity with these types of runs, slowly building up my volume. Oh, where is it? Here it is. Slowly building up my volume. And again, so here we are week four. All right. So we're going up. Hopefully you can see that we're going up the scale here uh, to that 60 to 70 mile a week range and uh, eventually okay but to supplement this kind of for me slower um, easy days steezy days i'm supplementing this with plyometric work in order to keep that turnover going without introducing uh, hard interval sessions at this point so despite this little challenge of getting sick today which by the way i'm already feeling better because of the medicine uh, it, it really helps mentally i have found at the beginning of the training block to tell myself there's at least, at least going to be five, hopefully no more than 10. So that five to 10 days out of 14 weeks, in my case, whatever your training block might be, but that five to 10 days where the day is just going to be crazy hard, whether you're sick, whether you're injured, whether you're traveling for work or for whatever, you know, whatever the case may be, and you're, you're running and your training is just thrown off like today with the sickness. So it helps me mentally just to embrace it ahead of time and then you could it just bounces off of you at least that's what i have found it bounces off of you and you 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 wake up the next day hopefully feeling better but you wake up the next day recharged and ready to begin the training once again okay here we go question of the day i i think i asked this in december but i'm going to ask it again what is your next race have you registered what's the distance where is it located and uh yeah tell us a little story behind it why you chose that particular race for me 
Frankly, everyone, I'm still, <laughs> I'm registered for the Hamburg Marathon, but I'm still trying to figure out my schedule for tuning up for the Hamburg Marathon, whether I do a 10 mile tune up, a half marathon tune up. Uh, it's really difficult in Colorado to find half marathon races in March because we, March is actually the snowiest month of the year for Colorado. It's kind of, it's not December or January. So we shall see, I'm still, yeah fine-tuning that piece of the puzzle. All right, everyone, I don't know if the vlog is over. If it is over, the end screens are going to come on the screen in about 10 seconds. If it's, if it's not over, um, then you'll see what I'm doing next. All right, here we go. Oh, there they are. There they are. All right, now we're closing out the vlog, YouTube family. And uh, basically, True Love is making me some chicken noodle soup here. Thank you so much. A little soup. Baby bump. Hello. Baby's coming right along. Coming right along. Cooking, cooking in the oven. So we love you and thank you for being here. Thanks for watching a day that did not go off as planned. You know what I mean? Yeah. Didn't go quite as planned, but that's no, okay. So, all right, everyone. We're going to toss it back on the right too. Should you run when you are sick, that'll be on the right. And on the left, we will toss it back too. Something else. Something else. I'm not even sure. All right, everyone. Seek beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you, See you tomorrow. tomorrow.